hey guys welcome back to let code today in this video we are going to discuss how to start our automation journey if i am a fresher or i have like manual testing experience and i want to start learning automation from the beginning like if i'm a beginner definitely i'm going to follow these three major steps that i'm going to share with you so we'll talk about like how to get started and what are the things needed to get started second we'll see the learning phase and lastly we'll see the implementation phase the first question like how to get started or why we should get started so two things you need to uh, get started the first one is the mindset and second one is the commitment of course the main reason you have to switch to automation is because the money the ctc or the salary so if you are in manual testing with five of your experience probably you will be earning like 10 to 12 lakhs per annum but if you see the same experience with automation people can easily earn from like 25 to 30 lakhs for five years of experience that is the market trend now if you are earning less than that probably you should know the market trend and then just upskill and i will recommend you to switch the job but don't do it right now the market is really bad now because a lot of recession but of course there are still companies who are hiring so i will leave that up to you but if i have to switch probably i will stop myself to do that now maybe like next three to six months and second point is like better career opportunity uh, see this can be taken as two things like one if you are going to switch from one company to another with your automation knowledge you can easily expect a height of like 40 to 60 percent of course some people go beyond that for me like i personally go with like 80 to 100 percent but yeah basic thing is like you can go with like 40 to 60 percent easily but if you have manual testing experience only no matter how good you are at it you will still be like less than 30 percent so of course better, better career opportunity is there if you have learned the automation and last and final thing that i feel is like to really understand the market automation is in demand so if you see every year the automations like new tools are getting released new stacks are getting released and there is always a demand for the automation of course without manual testers automation cannot be performed that's one true and it will be always true but if you are just going to start with the manual testing probably you are going to waste your career now some pe people say that hey you can go to like if you are not comfortable with code you can go to like sme po or like product owner or business analyst if you are going to follow me i will recommend you to stop following those people who will sit somewhere like out of india and Tell you tell you all this nonsense see consider a team where we have like 10 people like maybe like four or five will be your developers three to four maybe like testers and one maybe the business analyst or the PO or product product owner or maybe the sme majority of people if want to switch to business analyst or yeah, or other designation then who will do the testing so it's like if you're not comfortable with code and if you have like more number of experience like you have become like 15 20 years of experience and you don't want to learn the coding probably those will be your area but if you are someone like me with like five or six four or five of five years of experience then definitely you should be learning coding okay after the mindset it also the commitment See, I'm not going to ask you to spend like hours and hours of practicing. Just spend 30 minutes per day that to like Monday to Thursday. That is pretty much enough. If I have to learn something, I will follow this only. But 30 minutes in the sense like it's not like uh, you'll just start your system and you will open your editor and then you'll decide what to learn and then you code and after 30 minutes, you'll close your laptop. No, it should be like you already know what to learn you have the mindset you have the proper setup just start the coding and do it for 30 minutes that is pretty much enough monday to thursday that is pretty much enough you will be able to clear most of the interview okay so these are the two things i will tell to myself if i have to switch from manual testing to uh, 
automation if you have any better options just do let me know the comments as usual i am very open for your suggestions and feedback second thing how to get started uh, the only thing we can do is the consistency consistency is the only key to win always not only in testing your life whatever it is okay so be sure like the amount you're going to spend that should be consistent like one week you will start learning and then you will like stop learning i received one comment one day from one of my one of our subscriber like he is going to complete the entire selenium course in two days that is i think that's useless actually it's like you are just getting everything and you are not giving it out which is bad for your mind okay like in our selenium java course that playlist we have like around 78 videos if you can consume it's around like 20 hours i guess if you can consume 20 hours within like 48 hours what output you are going to give so don't do that try to learn one topic per day or maybe like 30 minutes per day and that is pretty much enough okay and first of all watch fewer tutorials practice more I know as a YouTuber, if you watch more videos, I will earn more and my channel will grow. But that is not how you should learn or I will learn. So basically, we have to watch fewer tutorials. What I meant here is like, uh, don't keep on watching the tutorials. Just like one video, two video, three video, five video, ten video. Don't do that. Watch one video. Practice that. Practice with more scenarios. For example, in testing, if I'm giving you a task to do like handle the alert, don't stop only with particular page to handle the alert. Learn what are the types of alert. Like we have sweet alert, we have toast notification, how to inspect the toast notifications. Learn all the possibilities as well. Okay, so that will really help you. So if you are getting stuck, you can just Google it. You can watch YouTube videos or whatever the way of learning you prefer. You can do that, but make sure at the very starting point you are not going to watch the tutorials just try yourself if you are stuck then go and watch your watch the tutorials second thing google is your best friend of course we all know that so if you are getting stuck anything just google it out you will find most of the scenarios like selenium is there for like more than decades whatever the exception are there there is always each and every solution available on the google the stack overflow or even the youtube right and some people say like find your mentor which i am not comfortable i will not do that two reasons i can say nobody is going to spend time for you until you are going to commit yourself okay so first of all we should be in a position to learn right some people have like some uh, personal things that we don't we should not discuss but yeah you should have your own commitment to learn yourself mentors can help but i'm not a kind of person who will seek for a mentor and second point is like the mentors are now charging so uh, we say like everything is free but not everything is free here so some i saw like some mentors they charge like 200 300 just to talk to them for half an hour or one hour uh, that's their uh, thing uh, they have grown to that stage that they can charge for meetings personally i don't do that and i will never do, do that um, but yeah everyone time is also valuable so if someone is going to spend their time to them if you are going to pay for them them that's fine but still i have different opinion and my opinion might also change in future but for now i think Personally, I don't need a mentor. I can just find out, figure it out myself. And if you want a mentor, probably you can ask someone, but I will recommend you to learn from your own, at least at the beginning. Okay. And find a tutor according to your match. For example, see if you see Selenium, there are a lot of channels, there are a lot of languages also available. So we have like Telugu, we have like Tamil, and we have also Hindi channels now. And of course, English is there like oh, worldwide. So there are a lot of tu tutors out there, right? So we have like few very good channels, right? So uh, we have like Navin Automation Lab, Mukesh Otani, and the Testing Ac Academy, uh, Testing Mini Bytes, HY Tutorial, and a lot of 
channels are there right so the content is very same if you see selenium selenium like finding the elements doing something something all the concepts are very same but the way tutor takes it is different for example i take it very slow i mostly focus on uh, beginners whereas like testing mini bytes focus more on like advanced experts level so you should find a tutor where you have the vibe right so i'm saying something and you are not able to get it from myself you are not able to consume my things then it's waste of time watching the tutorials right so don't go with like bigger channels smaller channels just go with any channels you like but make sure like you have the same wavelength as the tutor and if you are getting the things from them then just consistent like if you are going to start one playlist i would recommend you to complete the playlist in a particular channel then you can go to other channels and you can learn more that's up to you okay and learn the concepts not the code i see most of the comments nowadays like how to do this in that how to do this in that same concept see if you take the web table concept it is very same in selenium protector web driver io or even playwright there is no difference you have to this you have to just find the table and rows and columns according to your test scenario but if you learn the concept you will never ask me like how to do the same in web driver or playwright if you learn it from selenium the same concept you can apply for all the other bindings as well even it's javascript or java selenium or playwright doesn't really matter if you understand the concept then the same thing you can apply it anywhere so learn in a such a way that once you understand one concept you should be able to under apply that in all the other frameworks as well okay and always learn okay as i said like in your previous slide spend 30 minutes monday to thursday just to practice and spend friday to sunday or maybe like friday to saturday don't learn all every day okay why i'm saying this like friday to sunday you just learn don't practice you just learn what happens like at least i will talk like from my experience if I'm just seeing the tutorial in my mobile and I'm doing the same code in my editor in my system definitely that will not help it's like you're just saying something and you're just practicing we are not doing the typewriting practice here right so that's useless what we have to do is we have to consume the knowledge and it should be processed in our mind and then we should output it so that is how we should be learning at least i prefer in that way of learning if i just see something and just keep on typing uh, that's like just copying and paste in code it's very useless right so yeah so you should be learning not necessary but this is what i do so you should be learning like monday to friday and once you're comfort with that okay i know this topic i can do practice now then you start your practice like 30 minutes for the next four days okay now how to implement this step will be separate for uh like people who are already doing in manual manual testing all the points are applicable if someone who is not from manual testing background probably you are from like any other support any other domain and you want to learn automation you can follow from the uh, fourth step okay yeah from the fourth step or maybe like same thing but a little bit different way okay so if you are a manual tester first of all you should get the git access i think all the team members the testers will have the access to your automation uh, git access if not you can ask your team lead or manager to get the access if they are saying no you cannot have your git action to your automation project then definitely that's a green signal you should put down your paper Trust me, you should put down your paper and look for a better job. If you are not seeing any growth in your team, no use of being there for long. Just do it now itself. Okay. Yeah, of course, based on a situation, just because I am saying something, you don't have to follow as it is. Okay. Second thing, once you got got the Git access, identify the identify the tools they have used. For example, it can be like Selenium with Java, Selenium with C Sharp. Uh, protector with javascript or typescript uh, cypress so identify the tools learn the learn those particular tools okay 
and identify the automation project structure for example if you know java oops concept that is pretty much enough to realize or to understand any of the automation project structure you can go like they might have used pom or uh, some other, another thing mostly it's pom or bdd so we can go with that and try to write a basic script to understand your project for example if you have the base class you have the like wrapper methods you can use those to uh, write your test script and don't use any of the practice website that usually all the youtubers used to show in the uh, videos try to write the code on your application okay so if you have like your testing environment in testing environment of course you can create any set of data no one cares so of course you can do that okay but if you are not in testing maybe you can use other website as well once you are comfort with your basic scripting you have to find your pipeline failures so every project will have the pipeline the CICD it can be like Jenkins or maybe like Microsoft Azure so go to that particular pipeline see if there is any failure if there is any failure you try to fix it yourself without anybody help you don't have to like um, uh, fix and give it your automation team members just keep it yourself but make sure you are going to fix your script in this way you will be able to learn like how to find identify the errors what are the like exceptions you are getting and how to fix a script okay and also you should have like minimal knowledge of git like to create your branch because as soon as you like clone the pipeline failure like master branch definitely you, will, you won't have the permission to push to master branch but still you create your branch and that's a very simple thing you can just google it you will get it and you create your branch you fix the script and then improvise the script improvise in the sense like so when you are going to create your uh, fix your script you don't have to use the project um the framework you don't have to use the wrappers you don't have to write in page object model or bdd keep those and just use like driver.find elements that commands and try to fix it once you are able to fix your script then you can go and improvise your script that will definitely help you okay so that's it this is what i wanted to convey if i'm going to start from very beginning very scratch and i am i have the commitment to change from manual testing to automation going to follow this three major steps so i just shared with you as well if you find it helpful appreciate it or else if you have any feedback and suggestions just do let me know in the comments Hello, bye, -bye. take care